So I have to agree with everyone. I think the teaching model is brilliant. And I think the way you kind of guide the discussions and then bring in the different, I mean, this is coming a lot from a learning and development perspective, but but bring in the polls and the videos and the conversations and the questions. I think it ties together really well. I'm like most amazed how much your brain adjusts. Like the terminology is so scary to begin with. And then suddenly you have these keys that help you understand it. So I think my aha moment was really at the beginning when we just like defined equity, liability and assets. And then at every other stage when things were built off of those concepts, I could go back to that basic definition. First of all, general financial terms that come up in the news and articles that you're reading and conversations that you hear, I think first and foremost, that helps you keep up with it and remind you like, oh, I actually can figure out what that person's talking about. Um, and from a business perspective, um, kind of seeing which of these categories exist in the reports that we have at work and the things people are dealing with and then see how we can kind of roll that out for people um, who need it. And yeah, I think I think it's been great. Wonderful. Uh, personally, being in HR, we talk a lot about KPIs, but uh, internally, I, somewhere or the other, I was not aware of the financial KPIs, like how to read of course the financial statements thank you for of course making us understand practically like the hands-on experience is what i really enjoyed and i'm sure all my colleagues on the call also they all feel the same that uh, if trainings are organized in this way i believe the takeaways are even better so this is a learning for me on how a training should be ideally designed especially a topic like finance for non-finance managers so that is my one of my key learnings other than the core uh, finance concept itself so thank you uh, from my side. My biggest takeaway is the demystifying finances. I understand better Dutch than I, under, than I understood finance. What I take with me is I definitely think that I will do a much better management of my budget and what I owe and how to maximize it even. I definitely think that I can make better financial decisions at least. What you've done with this company is extremely intelligent, a simple form of gamification that definitely enhances learning. And you learn by doing it and don't learn by lecturing because it's very hard to make me engaged and if you would be lecturing here for two hours and a half uh, in 15 minutes you would have lost it. I love the course I thought um, you set a very good foundation and that's what we were looking for and when you started out by saying I'm gonna teach you a new language so that in our mind got us thinking okay something's different and because it was a paradigm shift, especially those of you that are using it now for GMs that are training OMs, the more you teach it, the more you're gonna understand it, right? And you're gonna learn it and it's gonna be solidified. I thought it perfectly built that foundation that we need just the basic fundamental words that we use so we can speak the language, right? The finance, the, la the yes. language of finance. And we also have to understand where we have control, right? So Andre has to understand at his warehouse, what line he can control, what line his OMs, what line his employees can control and why. I mean, I thought it was fantastic. It was fun, interactive. I love the fights we got to have in breakout. Who says that?